Hello, my name is Taylor Ross. I'm an Eximetry Ambassador and the owner of Frustum Virtual in Los Angeles, California. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up your custom Unreal Engine project with a virtual camera for green screen live compositing. So the first thing we need to do is open Unreal Editor for Eximetry. I'll just double click on this to open it. The first thing you'll see is the Unreal Project Browser. I've already created a project for this tutorial called Axie Virtual Camera 01. This project was created in Unreal Engine from Epic Games. I'll go ahead and select this project and then select Open in the bottom right hand corner. This will open a pop-up that says Convert Project. This pop-up is telling me that my project was created in a different version of Unreal Engine. To make sure that we're not doing anything destructive to this original project, we will open a copy. I will just select Open a Copy. Now Unreal Editor for Eximetry will start opening that project. Depending on the size of the project that you're opening, this could take a little bit of time. I'm fast forwarding through this process to save time during this tutorial. Once this project opens, you will see that my Unreal Engine 5 layout is a little bit different than the native Unreal Engine 5 layout. To get your layout to look like mine, navigate to Window, Load Layout, UE4 Classic Layout. This will dock the content browser at the bottom. Next, I will navigate back to Window, find Output Log, and select it. This will dock our Output Log next to our content browser. This is the Desert Gas Station from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. You can find this level on the marketplace and purchase it if you'd like to use it. Once we have the layout set up and our Unreal Engine project fully loaded, navigate to Edit in the upper left hand corner and select Project Settings. In the Project Settings window, we will use the search bar to search for Stencil. For this custom depth stencil pass, we will change this to Enabled with Stencil. Now back in the search bar, we will search for Planar. Find Support Global Clip Plane for Planar Reflections and check this box to make it true. Once we change this project setting, you will see a restart required to apply settings in the bottom right hand corner. Before restarting, we need to change a few more settings. Navigate to Maps and Modes on the left hand side of our project settings. Find Default Game Mode and select this little plus sign. Give this custom game mode a name. I will call mine Eximetry Mode. Select Save. Now for the default pawn class, we'll change this to None. Next, in Default Maps, we need to make sure that the Editor's Startup Map and Game Default Map both match the map that we're currently working on. Both my Editor's Startup Map and Game Default Map are already set to the Desert Gas Station 01. You can use this dropdown to search for the name of the map that you'd like to select. So if I type in Desert, you can see Desert Gas Station 01. You can also do this for Game Default Map. Just search for the name of your map, Desert Gas Station 01. Just make sure that your Editor's Startup and Game Default Map are both set to the map that you're currently working on. Now I will navigate to Packaging on the left-hand side. We will scroll down and find Advanced. Now we're going to scroll down and look for List of Maps to Include in Package Build. Select this plus sign to create a new array. Now next to index 0, we'll use these three dots to navigate to the location of the map that we would like to package. By default, this will be in Documents, Unreal Projects. Find the project that you currently have open. Mine is called Axie Virtual Camera 01. The copy that we created at the beginning of this tutorial has a 5.3 at the end. Make sure that you're opening the copy that you created at the beginning of this tutorial, not the original project that you created in Unreal Engine from Epic Games. I will open this folder. Now I will find my map, I'll open Content, Desert Gas Station, Maps. Mine is called Desert Gas Station 01.umap. I will select this map and then select Open in the bottom right hand corner. By setting up this setting, we will be saving on the cook time of our project. We are telling Unreal Editor for Eximetry that we only want to cook the project that we have open. This step isn't necessary, but it will definitely save you a lot of time during the cooking process. Now that all our project settings are set up, we can go ahead and close our project settings window. Now in the lower right hand corner, I will select Restart Now. Go ahead and save the project if you haven't saved it already. Because we turned on Planar Reflections, Unreal Editor for Eximetry will need to recompile all of the shaders. This could take a little bit of time depending on how large your level is. I'm going to fast forward through this process to save time during this tutorial. For me, this process took about 5 to 10 minutes. This will all depend on the size of your project and how many shaders need to be recompiled.
Once our project reloads, after changing all of our project settings, we will come up here to the outliner, and in the search bar, we will search for player start. The player start will render as a sphere in Xymmetry DE Composer. You can move the player start out of the view of your Xymmetry camera, or you can just delete it. I will just go ahead and delete this player start. Now I will navigate to the Xymmetry tab at the top. I'll select Add Camera. For this tutorial, I'm going to add the green camera virtual one through three billboards. This will add our virtual camera to the scene. By default, the Xymmetry camera that you add will be placed at the world zero point. This is also the location that you will start in when you open this project in Xymmetry DE Composer. Moving this camera in the Unreal Editor for Xymmetry will not adjust the position that you start in in Xymmetry DE Composer. You will always start at this world zero point, even if you move this camera. Just make a note of where the position of this camera is and what direction it is facing. Once the scene is open in Xymmetry DE Composer, we will need to make the adjustments to place our camera and our billboard in the proper position. Since this asset was downloaded from the Unreal Engine Marketplace, our world zero is not near where we want to shoot. For now, I will just take note of where this world zero point is and what direction my camera is looking and then I will make the proper adjustments once we open this project in Xymmetry DE Composer. Now that we have our camera added to our scene, you can see this in the World Outliner, I will navigate back to the Xymmetry tab, and then I will select Cook Content for Xymmetry DE. Once we select Cook Content for Xymmetry DE, you will see Cooking Content for Windows in the bottom right hand corner. You can select Show Output Log. This is the same as the output log that we docked at the beginning of this tutorial. The output log allows us to monitor the cooking process. Depending on how large your level is and how much needs to be cooked, this process could take quite a long time. The first time that you cook any project, it will be the longest cook. If you come back to Unreal Editor for Xymmetry and make any changes to your project, the second cook will always be faster. For me, the first cook of this project took about 30 minutes. For this tutorial to save time, I will just fast forward through this entire cooking process. Once the cooking process is complete, you will see a build successful cooking complete in our output log. If after the cooking is completed, you get a build failed, you can look through your output log to see what the error messages are and then you can address the problems. Since my build was successful and I got a cooking complete, I can go to File, Save All, or Control Shift S on the keyboard. You can also select Save All in the bottom right hand corner. With my project cooked and saved, I can go ahead and close the Unreal Editor for Xymmetry. Hopefully this video was helpful in getting your Unreal Editor for Xymmetry set up with a virtual camera. In another tutorial, I will be showing you how to bring this into Xymmetry DE Composer and how to use pre-recorded green screen footage or a live camera feed for green screen live compositing using a virtual camera. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching.